Hi there, Fabulously people! Welcome back to Fabulously Money. Today I bring to you something super exciting that I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, I've got here two primers from The Ordinary. It's fairly new, but it's becoming very popular. Um, and I've actually reviewed some of their um, skincare products, which is the, what they're known for. Uh, these are actually two primers that they came out with and I will be reviewing those two for you today So if you're interested in uh, seeing how this turns out how these work out keep on watching Okay, first things first I'm gonna be using the new Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation It's supposed to be an oil-free 14-hour wear oil controlling and photo friendly foundation and I've been absolutely loving this foundation I'm obsessed with it uh, ever since I tried it out so can do a first impressions on a guy because I've been using it like almost every day now but I thought it would be a perfect one to try these um, primers out with so and we can see how they perform I actually have not been using primer with this foundation I didn't feel the need to use the primer but uh, I'm going to try it out with primers today and we'll see how this foundation performs that way. So, Okay, so I got my hair up now and as you can see, I've got some lovely visitors on my face right now. Uninvited visitors, but it's almost that time of the month. We're just going to have to deal with that. Anyway, let's start with these testings and um, we're going to start with the high spreadability uh, fluid primer and it's kind of what it came like the packaging looks like very simple just like the usual with the ordinary and this one it says it says um, spreadability enhancing lightweight surface spreadability enhancing lightweight surface smoother and primer and it has high flexibility silicones so I think what this primer is supposed to do is uh, help your foundation go a long way so you don't have to use as much product. So we're going to see if that's actually true and we're going to test out how that uh, the primer performs uh, throughout the day, whether it helps the foundation stay on better. I feel the Perfect Peach Foundation is actually a very good like long wearing foundation. It does what it claims. So we're just going to see how it performs in combination with this primer. And the second primer we're going to be uh, testing out, again from The Ordinary, it's the High Adherence Silicone Primer. Um, it's supposed to be blurring, uh, it's also a surface smoother and primer. And it has advanced adaptive silicones. So this one, it's actually supposed to be for uh high staying power with your foundation so it's supposed to make your foundation last even longer so we're gonna see if i'm gonna have half of my face rubbed off and the other one stays perfectly on my face so we're gonna test that out guys <laughs> so let's start with the high spreadability primer and i'm actually yeah let's start with just with the primer first and that's what the packaging looks like it kind of looks like have you ever uh, tested out their serums um, I've actually tested out quite a few of their products and they're very good let me know if you want me to do a review on those products on YouTube I've actually have a review up on my blog on my website and you want to check that out that is at fabulouslymoney.com and I'll leave the link below um, but let's test this out and it's a dropper applicator as you can see so I think the way that I like to use their products with the dropper applicator is so I just kind of like apply it to my face. So we'll see. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> let's do that on the um, on this side, I guess. And I'm just gonna put a couple of drops. Okay and hopefully that is enough and I'm just gonna spread it out with my fingers well, yeah, I might have put a little bit too much on the forehead but well, that's okay that's okay right guys that's, that's okay okay so 
Alright, I mean, I don't think he's doing anything much for pores. Um, it feels a little bit matter than it was, but I don't, that's not one of the claims. Um, my face does feel really smooth. Um, I don't know. We'll see, guys. We'll, we'll see. Okay, and on the other half of the face, we're going to apply the high spread a bit higher here. I'm sorry, high adherence primer, silicone primer. And that one actually comes in a tube. Again, very similar to the other products. Um, I feel with the ordinary, you will have to label your products if you use a lot of them because you can very easily get confused. Okay, so we're going to apply that one to the other side of my face. And that is just like my regular white primer. Okay, let's see. Just that little bit on it. And spread it with my fingers. Okay, so... My first impressions or like the first thing that I've noticed that is different between these primers is that uh, the one on um, this side actually feels, definitely feels a little bit more silicone-like than this side. This side feels more like a lotion that you will put on your face. Uh, it feels smooth. My skin still feels smooth though. Um, but definitely this size feels a little bit more silicone like it almost feels like when you apply the uh, Smash, Smashbox uh, photo finish primer that's kind of how this side feels like and this one feels a little bit more like um, the um, Hourglass Mineral Veil primer if you ever try any of those they both sides feel very smooth so we're gonna see how these perform okay so let's go ahead and start with the foundation and for this side it's so i'm supposed to use less foundation than usual right so we're gonna test that out and see if that is in fact true so i'm gonna dot a little bit of my foundation And I'm going to use, I'm going to use a beauty sponge for both of them, my L'Oreal uh, sponge blender. And blend that out. Okay, let's see how that performs. Okay, well, first thing I notice is that... I like a little bit more coverage than that and the little bit of foundation that I put on right now didn't do uh, enough, didn't give me the coverage that I wanted. So does it really spread foundation or make foundation go be slide on better? Um, honestly, I, I can't tell the difference with any other regular primer. So I'm going to apply a little bit more foundation on that side because again, I've got some unwanted visitors on my face right now that I want to cover up. So we're going to apply a little bit more. So that is one face with foundation, uh, one half with foundation on and the other half no foundation what do you guys think i don't know i honestly guys i can't tell much of a difference to be honest with you um i mean it's definitely not making my foundation look cakey so that's nice. Um, I feel like maybe it did have a little bit of a blurring effect with my pores. Um, yeah, okay. Let's try the other half. 
And I still have a little bit of foundation on my hand, but we're gonna apply a little bit more because I want more. <laughs> okay, let's see this way. Then I mean, we need to cover this up. Well, um, I want to cover that up. I, honestly, guys, I don't really use a concealer to cover up these blemishes sometimes because I feel that concealers are a little bit too kicky and they just kind of enhance the problem a lot of times. So I just kind of try to do it a little bit with foundation instead of a concealer. Okay, so that is the other half of the face. Um, honestly, guys, I don't see a difference right now. Maybe this side feels a little bit more matte than this side where I had the um, uh, high spreadability primer. And this is the high adherence primer. Um, what do you guys think? Let's take a closer look. Yes, maybe this side, my pores are a little bit more blur on this side than on this side. I guess this side, as far as staying power, we'll have to check. I'll have to check later with you guys and let you know. This one, I feel like it's no different from any other silicone primer, to be honest with you. Um, again, if you ever try the Maybelline Baby Skin, I think is what it's called, primer. It feels very similar to that. I don't feel a difference, uh, guys. So we'll see actually if this size gets oilier than it usually does. Like I said, I usually don't use a primer with this foundation because I haven't felt the need to use a primer with this foundation. So we'll see if that actually makes things better or worse. Uh, so um, let me uh, finish the rest of my makeup, guys, and I'll come back and check with you. One quick thing, I forgot to tell you the time right now. It is about 12.15 uh, p.m. And I'll try to check with you guys in about four hours and probably at the end of the day or before I take this makeup off. So I'll check with you guys later. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, I feel like everything else apply pretty much the same. Um, as it usually does on top of this foundation, very nicely, very smoothly, everything blended well together. Um, forgot to tell you guys that I actually use the Cover FX uh, loose setting powder to set my foundation. Um, it's what I usually um, set my foundation with, so I didn't want to change that. I didn't put any setting spray because I didn't want to change the performance of the primers, and I just kind of want to see how it acts, how they act on their own. Um, so this is the finished look guys Then I'll check with you back in four hours to see how things are doing, how things are looking. All right, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm doing my checking now. It's been about four hours since I, uh, tried on the primers and my, on uh, my foundation. So this is what my skin is looking now. What do you guys think? I haven't retouched or anything. Um, I mean, I haven't been doing much today, although I did have to chase my dogs because they got out and it's, it was just this whole thing. Just, just don't get me started anyway. But, um, I mean, I think it's looking pretty good, guys. Um, let me see. Let me take a closer look. It hasn't worn off on either side, actually, um, and it does seem that maybe the side with the uh, high adherence, the high adherence primer side, it's a little bit more shiny than the high spreadability primer side. What do you guys think? 
Mm -hmm. Surprisingly though, my forehead and my chin, <clears throat> excuse me, have stayed uh, pretty mad. So I'm surprised about that. But like I said, I haven't been doing much today. So, um, I don't know, guys, in terms of what they're claim to do, I mean, they stayed put. My foundation hasn't rubbed off at all um, on either side. So I guess that part is true. Um, so we'll see. I'll try to do a final check-in before I take my makeup off. I do have plans for tonight and I'll probably be doing a different makeup look. So I may be taking this whole thing off and starting over. But I'll try to do a last check-in for you guys. Okay, so see you guys there. Well guys, this is the final check-in. Um, so this is what my face looks like at the end of the day. It's been about 8 or 9 hours now and yep the foundation definitely rubbed off on both sides actually i think maybe probably even more so on the uh, high adherence primer side than the high spreadability side so um, yeah i'm not too convinced about these primers they did seem to kept my uh, face not as oily as usual that's a plus I guess but I think out of the two I prefer the high spreadability one just felt nicer I feel like it blurred my pores and it just was the better side overall throughout this whole experiment so there you go guys um, this, is, this will be my final check-in. And that is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you want me to do a review on all the other skincare products from The Ordinary. I'll be so glad to do that for you. Thanks for stopping by, guys. And remember that feeling fabulous is all a state of mind. Bye, guys.